What's up everybody? A little bit different setup for meal prep this week. This is a test print. What do you think of this t-shirt? Comment below. So a little more expensive than what a normal grocery shopping trip has been for me lately, but got some stuff that's definitely going to last for multiple weeks at least. So let's go through it. So number one, still uh, code strength empire. First month's five bucks for the RP diet app. So I still am using the RP app. I actually am set up for a very small cut. It's like five pounds in eight weeks. So it's kind of like a maintenance for me, uh, but I'm just trying to get a little of the bloatiness off to try to help with you know, feeling a little bit more athletic as I go into the Arnold Sports Festival. So let's go through kind of what this is gonna look like. And I'm just gonna kind of show you what my meals are gonna be for a typical day of me lifting around lunchtime. Now I'm not gonna lift every day, so this will have to change a little bit. Uh, my numbers will change a little bit, but just what it's typical is gonna look for me weighing about 235 to 240 right now. So first thing is I got some flavored packets. Now I use these because water gets tiring. I get tired of drinking a lot of water like I normally do. Um, very low, if anything, there's like two carbs. I'm not really gonna count it or worry about it. Don't really know what's in them. Iced tea with lemon, raspberry lemonade, and fruit punch. Basically flavor some water, try to keep me from drinking other crap. So uh, with coffee in the morning, Went with a half and half creamer uh, just to cut down sugars and stuff like that with normal creamers that I get because I drink coffee in the morning. Bought eggs, two dozen eggs, which will last me more than a week typically. They're just, when I buy like four dozen at a time, I just go ahead and buy them. And this was new at Aldi today. I couldn't remember what these were. They were less than $2 a, 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 for a big quart. Normally they're like the half pint sizes, but I went ahead and got four of these. Now that's normally like eight of the smaller ones for me which lasts me a long time anyways, because I don't use a ton, but these are dated till March, so we should get be good. I went ahead and bought all as four because they may not have them one week in next. That's kind of how Aldi works. So breakfast, uh, something else I bought last week, bought some Kodiak cakes. I got two to try, something different. I'll also have either these or I'll have oatmeal and venison, which I already have uh, plenty of instant oatmeal packs and some ground venison sausage. I'll do kind of mix it up every other day. I'll kind of do a pancake or I'll do the venison sausage and oatmeal just to give me some good breakfast carbs. So that's that first meal. Next meal is ends up being post training for me, which is I just went with classic chicken and rice. Now they were out of chicken breasts is how Aldi works because that's where I do my shopping. Uh, went ahead and did chicken tenderloins. This actually is perfect for like my five days of training uh, post workout meal. So other things that I bought that are going to last more than a week, but this was that week that I had to buy them, olive oil. Uh, and then with the next meal, or this is the next two meals, so I have two of these meals per day. Basically, I went with a pasta, pasta and meat sauce. So ground sirloin, 90-10 uh, there. That is not going to quite make it through the week, but I have ground uh, venison in the freezer, which I'll finish up with. And then I got some different sauces. I went ahead, these are like 85 cents for a jar. So tomato, basil, and garlic, traditional, and mushroom. Just to mix it up, mix up my flavors so things aren't so bland. I don't, I'll probably just mix them into different containers and I just won't know which one's which. So it's kind of a little surprise every time I eat it. And then I'm supposed to have whole wheat pasta. Aldi didn't have it. I didn't feel like going somewhere else. I just bought regular pasta. Uh, so shoot me it's it's not gonna make or break my diet right now with where i'm at so that's a meal uh last thing i'm gonna add in there it's a, i'm gonna cook down a little bit of baby spinach this one is baby spinach and arugula i'm gonna throw that in there give me a little bit more green in this diet because there's really not a lot of it so um just how it's happening right now and then my last meal of the day so that's two meals post training chicken and rice i already had the rice uh have a little bit of olive oil in that meal just a little bit uh, and then I'll use, actually, it's in the spice rack, which is right here. I have really enjoyed like beef or chicken and rice plain with Montreal steak seasoning. I don't know what it is. I'm really, really liking the flavor of it right now. I don't really add anything else to it. That's all it is. Tastes good. I uh, taste good. Uh, and then the last meal of the day is actually, I had Uncrustables. So... Going back with a sandwich, so this is just a 12 grain bread I grabbed, uh, and then I grabbed extra peanut butter. I don't need a whole one of these in a week, and I grabbed two containers because they're like $1.29. Uh, but natural peanut butter, 
And then I didn't really know if I needed it or not because I bought jam or jelly, whatever you call it, preserved last week. But I went ahead and picked up another one at Aldi just in case. Um, so I get like three slices of bread fit that last meal with some peanut butter and some jelly plus a protein shake. I've said this in a lot of meal prep videos. Shout out Joe Fogarty and Garden of Life. Uh, that's the protein I take. So uh, that is my last meal of the day. So that kind of takes you through a full lifting week. Uh, and, you know, some days when I'm, let's just say as simple as it is on a non-lifting day, just ch cut out that chicken and rice meal. And that's about what my normal food is. I might have to cut out a slice of bread in the evening. Now I did buy a couple other things. Like I bought some stuff for dinner tonight, which is a little cheap meal. So we're not going to tell you what that is, which is included in that uh, price point for this week. But then something else I bought that I'm going to keep in the fridge freezer. And that is I got a top top round steak, and this is a hell of a buy. Cheese ravioli, two seventy nine, and this bag's got some weight to it. It's like two pound bag of ravioli. I don't know how they are. I've got extra pasta sauce. I know I won't use all the sauce. So I was like, if I'm gonna be like, man, I want a meal something different this week. Boom, there I go. Have that ready to go. So all in all, this week's shopping trip, two hundred thirty five, two hundred forty pound guy. Uh, typically five meals a day, breakfast post-workout, the two uh, pasta meals, and uh, my late night meal. Five meals is what I kind of typically do. Uh, $75 this week. That includes, I mean, I pretty much have, only thing I didn't buy is rice and then the pancake or the uh, sausage and an oatmeal. Everything else I bought this week, $75, will feed me five meals a day for at least six days, typically is what this will be. So, it's affordable to eat healthy, eat on a diet. This is really for me, a maintenance type diet. Like I said, I'm cutting a little bit of weight. It's no rush, it's nice and easy. I don't even care if I don't, because I want to be able to perform really well. So I'm just trying to feel a little bit better. Yeah, so if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And uh, we're gonna do the highlights will be on Instagram. I'll kind of maybe dive into this a little bit more on the uh, blog, but let me know what you think of this and we'll talk to you guys probably next Sunday for another meal prep video.